Today I'm going to be showing you how to easily remove a radiator for decorating. The tools that you'll need are an adjustable wrench or spanner, grips or water pliers, blank nuts, a radiator key and some containers and a bucket. The blank nuts are not necessary but I would recommend them and make sure you do have a few containers. The blank nuts will stop any water escaping from the valves if they should fail. First you need to start by closing your valve, so on a thermostatic radiator valve turn it to zero and then on the lock shield turn this clockwise to make sure that it is closed. To drain the water make sure that you have some containers in place underneath the valves and a bucket handy to get these emptied out. Use the grips to hold the valve securely while you loosen the other part of the valve from the radiator tail. The water will start coming out at this point so don't panic and just catch it with the container and have another one handy for you to hop over if you need to empty the other one out. You may also want to use a cloth underneath the grips and the wrench just to stop any damage to the valves. At this point, add your blanking nut. This is probably going to be a half size. Um, you may also have a three quarter dependent on your radiator valve. You can screw this on by hand and then just tighten it up a little bit with a wrench or spanner. As I said, this is recommended just in case the valve fails. If you're going to have the radiator off for a while, you don't want any major leaks. And then just repeat the process again on the other side. The water came out quite quickly and I needed to swap over the containers and empty it out into a bucket. If the water is coming out slowly, just use the radiator key to let some air in and this will help push the water out. Once the water is out of the radiator, you can then lift it off the wall and tip any remaining water into the bucket. There may be a little bit of sludge in the bottom, so before refitting the radiator, it's probably best to clean it through with a hose pipe just to get rid of any sludge so that the radiator's nice and fresh for adding back onto the wall. So that's all finished with the blanking nuts on and now it is ready to be decorated.